It's time for the Rock Report on 106.5 The Buzz. Brought to you by the Rock Report blog at 106.5thebuzz.com. I'm Otto. Black Sabbath bassist Geezer Butler said that he and Ozzy Osbourne have agreed to play one last show together. Ozzy recently reflected on Black Sabbath's final tour and how he felt like there was still unfinished business with the band and adding he would jump at the chance to play a final Black Sabbath show with co-founding drummer Bill Ward, who sat out the band's reunion shows between 2011 and 2017. Speaking with Eddie Trunk about possibilities, Butler said, quote, Of course there's an interest on my part to do it, but there's a big but. You have to speak to Bill about it. Everybody wants to do it, but I don't know if he's capable of pulling it off, unquote. And then added, quote, Ozzy was hoping to finish it all off next year at Ashton Villa, referring to the soccer stadium in Birmingham, England. I'm definitely up for it to finish the whole thing off. Me and Ozzy have agreed, but I'm not sure about anybody else, unquote. No word on Ward's response or any response from Sabbath guitarist Tony Iommi. The Black Keys have canceled the upcoming North American leg of their International Players Tour after several venues confirmed the shows were canceled. The band posted on X, quote, the band wants to assure everyone that Dan and Patrick are alive and well, unquote, and added that the band plans to make changes to the North American leg to offer the same experience for fans here as they did on the UK and European shows. Canceled dates included November 9th at the Pfizer Forum in Milwaukee. Everyone who purchased tickets will get full refunds and the opportunity to buy tickets when the rescheduled shows are announced. The band is still scheduled to play at the NASCAR Chicago Street Race on July the 6th. After reuniting for the first time in 14 years to perform an intimate show in London, Jane's Addiction with original band members have announced they will hit the road for their 2024 co-headline tour with Love and Rockets. Dates include September 22nd at the BMO Pavilion in the Summerfest grounds in Milwaukee. In other tour news, Asking Alexandria have announced the second leg of their headlining All My Friends U.S. tour with special guests Memphis Mayfire, The Word Alive, and Archers. Dates include September 25th at the Rave Eagles Club in Milwaukee. And the U.S. Department of Justice has filed suit to break up Live Nation, the parent company of Ticketmaster, over alleged antitrust violations. The lawsuit, joined by 30 states, claims that Live Nation's 2010 merger with Ticketmaster created a monopoly in the live event industry. The company, which generates $22 billion a year in revenue, operates and manages ticket sales and also owns and operates more than 265 entertainment venues in North America, including more than 60 of the top 100 amphitheaters. The lawsuit didn't specify how the company should be broken up or how much more fans paid for tickets collectively because of the alleged monopolistic behavior. In a response statement, Live Nation denied the charges and accused the government of political grandstanding and vowed to fight. And that is The Rack Report. For these stories and more, including audio, video, and links, go to the Rock Report blog, 1065thebuzz.com.